There's been a school on this site since 1938, and although the exterior hasn't changed, what goes on inside has. If you were here in the past, this is what you would have experienced. This traditional model could be described as a sage on the stage, where the teachers impart knowledge, and the students are passive recipients. That was then, and this is now. At BGS, we see students being given the opportunity to use technology to choose the process and format of their learning experience. There are in sections. As a result, when completing the experiment, they may produce a movie, an e-book, or a traditional written work that can be shared with the class or the wider community. In the past, maths was very much a solitary pleasure. At Bedford Girls School, students have the tools to work collaboratively, that they can share ideas and expertise. They can help others to consolidate their own understanding. Here, they're using a shared learning wall so they can see different approaches and solutions to the same problem, which they've recorded on video. screenshots of your questions onto the wall so everyone else can see your answers so um, we can all like help each other find out the answers to the questions so um, it makes it like a sort of collaborative together. All of his days are spent taking the two so you can just put that as 40 over 100. It's Christmas Day 1914. It seems the are going to need. Technology makes learning interactive, creative, and genuinely personal. Here, girls are using skills from other areas of the curriculum to study First World War stories by looking at carols in German, reenactments of scenes and by creating a score to accompany their filmed response to the teacher's question. Still knacked, highly knacked. Uh, got a son of you. Technology allows our students to visually evaluate their performance so they can see exactly what they need to do to improve. They can even compare their techniques with that of Olympic athletes.